just like every one of us. So it's not going to be a difficulty. Nobody is coming to task us. But the truth about what the professor has said here today is very clear. It's about the passion and the commitment. Uh, it, it takes, it takes um, more effort for you to actually become a millionaire. Eh? Some of us, we must have seen our, our people that came from Malaysia and Philippines that came back this December. And we are thinking that is the easiest way to make money. It's not true. You know, whatever you find your hand to do. I'm also very happy he quoted the scripture. The Bible said we should do it well. There is no wisdom in the grave where we are going into. Every one of us will die someday. But what we find ourselves alive doing, we should try and do it well. And I think this is a very good thing. People that survived during the war period were people who were into farming. You know, they had uh, stores where they packed certain food. Those of us who are working for the government and doing all low at, at that point, we'll be looking for them to go and buy uh, uh, egg, go and buy whatever that is actually coming from this place. So this is actually the richest place you can be. And I want us to be committed to it. Nobody is coming to fault you, but I want to be able to see you tomorrow. And I will say, give me two tubas of yam. Get some cocoa for me. And I'll be very happy you're giving it to me gladly because you also know what you went through to get it. And if there's anything I can also give in assistance, I will give. So I want us to actually be very committed to what we're doing. Just like my head of my area manager said and my head of training, you'll be seeing more of me here. If you have any challenge, um try to communicate. Okay? I know it's not easy. Some of us that have talked about this times, my area manager has talked about it too. It's not easy. Uh, if all these things come out during the day or within the way as you're doing anything, try to also relate to the professor. The professor will make things easier for us. And I pray that at the end of this, when you know, we see ourselves when we are receiving our starter packs, we'll all be smiling together. That's my prayer for us. And it will come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. So, you know, say, hey, Jim, uh, 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 when, we, when, we, when we came, I was expecting from people to say, Alon, uh, uh, I have a uh, in laws from Musoka here. Uh, you know, so I was expecting the greeting, I didn't hear it. So when I come next time, I want to hear Alan. I know. <laughs> very, very, very important. Okay? So I want to say a very big thank you to every one of us, even the gentleman photographer, the cameraman. We also appreciate your presence here. And I want to believe that at the end of this whole thing, just like I said before, we will have skills. Just like my area manager said, uh, some of these things, I, I was privileged to do some of them with my grandmom. And these days, how many of us still have grandparents alive? Some of us have just our parents alive, so we're not able to teach. This is a grandfather here. He's trying to teach us some of these things, so we should open down and let them help us until we never want to. Thank you very much. God bless you. Allah. Thank you. Allah. Allah. <laughs> This one Senator's Orange. This is Tangerine. This is Sweet Orange. So you don't need to uh, look for too much land to make your cultivation. So this can serve as aesthetic plants and at the same time as food. You can put them in your corridor and then you harvest and eat. And it also beautify your environment for you. So this containers we sustain this plant for as long as the containers are intact, as long as they are not spoiled, they can keep the plants for as many years. But when the containers go bad, you can now transplant it into the soil. But so long as the containers are fine, you leave the plants in the containers. You can put them on the corridor, you can put them in the open field. So as you harvest, 
they continue to produce for you. So you don't need a large hectare of land to produce your oranges. So we call it Senator's Orange because only Senators can afford it. It's expensive. It's really expensive. So if you want to become a Senator or you want to behave like a Senator, you can come and buy just one and keep it your company. Like how much? Each one here is 25,000. Because the container costs money. And the medium, which is green, is not soy. This is not soy. It's a soyless medium. Okay? So this medium also costs money. That's why it's very expensive. The name of the medium. No, it's organic fertilizer. It's organic fertilizer. You can see heaps upon heaps of them. We have uh, uh, students on training and uh, they have no job, so we want to teach them how to go to Metis so that they can uh, feed themselves. They can also be able to raise money for their respective families. So they are doing now land preparation. Uh, very soon we will go to the nursery. And then the next two, three weeks, the nursery will be ready for transplanting. So we are here to do really practical training. We call this one learning by doing. Learning by doing. So they are doing the thing. So as soon as they succeed, they will go home and replicate the same exercise in their respective homes and by then they have been equipped practically and this is not a case of theories do it and if you succeed here you now go home go to your place and then repeat exactly the same uh, that you have done here so this is the essence of this practical training to equip them professionally equip them practically so that they will not fail again because what their main complaint is that they, when they plant, when they grow their crops, they, before harvest, the thing will go bad and their projects uh, hardly yield return to investment. So they fail in course of doing it. So that's why they sent them here for this practical trade. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Good morning, Kegu. <laughs> I'm going to change the
Olha o que ele está fazendo. Olha o que ele está fazendo. Olha o que ele this is a nursery practice each individual has his own or her own nursery the uh, concept here is that you keep make your nursery you prepare your land, you plant your field, and at the end of the day, we'll see the level of success. And if it's 100% success, or 80 or 90% success, you can go home now and repeat the same thing. But if you fail outright, it means you go over it again. But, so each person here has his own nursery, his or her own nursery. And when the nursery is ready, they move to the field. And each person has his or her own bed in the field. So it's an individual affair. It's not a corporate thing as such. You will, we will rank each individual based on the level of success. Okay. Oh, yeah.